Hey guys, welcome back to the Dwan Moore Show. I'm your host, Dwan Moore, and I'm back with more information for you guys on what to do if you get the credit card error information code on your PlayStation screen on the PlayStation Network. So here are five different things right to the point on what you can do. Billing information. Are your credentials straight? The PlayStation Network seems to make everything harder than it should be, with several stipulations in place that need to be followed. Let's start with entering your billing information. To begin, make sure your credit card you're using is either a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or a debit card with the official Visa or MasterCard logo, as these are the only ones accepted by the PlayStation stores, and I'm not endorsing anyone over the other. Your, your card checkout, super cool beans. Now make sure that your billing information has been entered correctly so it matches up with the credit card statement. Special characters like slashes or hyphens may not be accepted, so try entering the bill billing information without them. If you live on a street that you normally abbreviate like road or drive, try spelling the whole word out like road and drive. The same goes for numbered streets, e.g. second instead of second. Remember that only credit card or debit cards with North American billing address can be used on a North American PlayStation Network. Registration system, if you have an international card, this will not work in North America. Two, troubleshoot. Your credit or debit card should also support ABS, Address Verification System. The system, as the name implies, is a way to verify that the address of whomever is using the credit card. Basically, the billing address that you provide needs to match up with the address that your credit card company has on file associated with that card. Cards that do not support ABS may not be accepted on the PlayStation Store. So you'll need to call in and check with your bank to see what the deal is if your card is ABS or not. All right. I know this might sound simplistic, but have you tried turning it on and back off again? Wait a minute. Scratch that. Strike that. Reverse it. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Launch in safe mode and restart. The classic have you turned it off and back on again method? Seriously? Just try power cycling your console. You can restart it from the power options, but sometimes it needs a more intense power cycle. Make sure your PS4 is turned off, then press the hold, press and hold the power button for several seconds. You'll hear an initial beep the moment you press it, then another beep five or so seconds later that indicate you can let go. Once this is done, your console will be in safe mode, and a prompt will tell you to connect your DualShock 4 controller to the console via USB charging cable. From here, you'll be from here you'll see a black screen with a list of options to choose from. Simply hit the first one, restart PS4. This will restart the system as normal as you won't need to worry about losing any data or save settings. Four, contact Sony. All of the above done, good. First and foremost, double check to make sure you have typed in all of your information correctly. You'd be surprised how easy it is to be only a number or letter off. Rendering your credit card information useless. Now, if you're certain that everything has been inputted correctly and you're still receiving the message that says invalid credit card information or similar, you'll need to contact Sony. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about that. And that's where Sony needs to step in. You can find all the ways to contact them from live support chat to their official support Twitter account. Now, it is in my personal hearings through the comment section below that their support line isn't that great for, isn't that helpful in this instance. So that brings us to number five. Screw it, get some gift cards. If all else fails, 
just don't, and you just won't want to deal with all the for, uh, mentioned hassles. Add money to your wallet using a PSN card or PayPal. You can buy PlayStation gift cards that range in price at a, from a range of stores. You can redeem them by turning on your PS4 and navigating to the PlayStation Store and entering the redemption codes that are on the cards. Or you can also use PayPal, which you can enter your credit card information in through them, which I find, or in my opinion, is a far much more secure way to have your credit card information held by. I'd much rather have it held by PayPal than Sony. Because Sony's been hacked twice, as I've mentioned before. So, unfortunately, if you live somewhere where you're not able to get a hold of PlayStation Network cards, because I've had someone ask me about that in the comments section, hopefully you can do something with PayPal, because outside of that, you're going to have to try all these solutions that I've numbered off, or get something through with the Sony Network team. Um, if you like what I, if you like this information, you want to see more, want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe, make sure you ring that bell. Let's get those numbers up. I'm trying to hit that 1,000, and I'll actually be able to monetize these videos and make better videos from monetization. Blah blah blah. You don't care about that. Thanks for watching. See you next time, gamers. Game on. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Dewan Moore Show. Um, I'm actually en route to another delivery and that doesn't matter. What does matter is that I just heard on the news that Jeff Bezos has raised the minimum wage at his warehouses for all employees, including temp and seasonal workers, to $15 an hour, which is Wow, I, I'm actually going to have to give it up to Jeff Bezos. That was the dope move. Because now, with that being put into play, that's going to force other companies of the same caliber to have to raise their pay, and all and every all, everybody pay is going to go up. So, um, there you go. Jeff Bezos, like I said, has raised his minimum wage pay that he starts his employees out at to $15 an hour. I'm at work right now, so give me a little bit. When I get in, I'll meet you with the actual news article. So make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell. Please make sure you're subscribed. I think they're suppressing me. There's no reason why I shouldn't have hit at least 200 subscribers by now. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'll hit you guys up later.